able to cover up that gut. Back and forth exchange. <laughs> round comes to an end. Knockdown was scored in that round. So, Teddy, you're working the corner of the guy who was just on the floor. What are you telling him? You're telling him that if he's been down before, you want to actually use that for a positive. I know that sounds crazy, but you say, hey, you've been here before. You've overcome it. You want to remind him that he can get back. And then the most important thing, Joe, is you tell him why he got dropped. So when he goes out there, he's not just scared going into a dark place saying, see, it's going to happen again. He knows he has control. Now listen, need to keep moving out there. He has a new round in front of him, but I don't know that there's any new hope. He's been down numerous times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink. But this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. Really frustrating his opponent now. Muhammad Ali is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an open. right back at him with a left hand. He just missed that shot up top. Keep moving, keep moving. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. Good work defensively by Muhammad Ali. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Blocks the headshot. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. after catching one by Muhammad Ali. Just like it, just like <laughs> End of the round is upon us, and we have a fighter in front of us who just looks gassed. He looks tired. Now, Teddy, what can he do to overcome that when this fight starts back up? Well, first of all, this is where you're searching for those corners that you're not forced to search, kind of like when you were a kid and your mother told you to clean your room and go into those right? little nooks and crannies jam, where you jam, never knew right. there was dirt. Now you gotta start looking into nooks and crannies inside yourself. Places you didn't know were there before. You better find them. You better find them quick. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, 
Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Ali's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major factor in this fight. Yeah, well, a lot of times people, you know, they only get it done on one end. What I mean about that is, you know, offensively, they use the jabs, they use aggression to set up the offense, but he uses defense to set up the offense. He, he has a double-edged sword. Missed with the headshot. Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. 